Hi everyone, we're just going to complete this uh, little bird picture today. Um, now I had already decided that I was going to make him look like a blue tit, so um, we're going to use colours which will work for that. Um, now those who aren't familiar with a blue tit, what I've done is I've actually got a picture on my computer screen in front of me of one so that I can just copy it. There is some white in the blue tit's face and some black, so we're going to just start with the black. Now. I've got my black here, my uh, polychromos black. It's getting ever so short, but here we go. Now I'm looking at the picture. Now he's got a black band across his eye, so I'm going to go across this piece that Johanna has drawn in for us, but I won't be able to stick exactly to everything that she's uh, marked on there because her um, picture isn't for a, um, for a blue tit. So uh, I think hers is just something beautiful from her imagination. Now the black goes across here and it goes down under the beak as well. So I'm going to go down here. Now his beak is also black but I'm going to do it a grey just so that there's some contrast with the um, colour. I think it makes it a little bit easier to... S and also as his beak is shiny I'm going to do it slightly differently. And there's a sort of black layer around the bottom here too of his face. So I'm just copying from this picture in front of me and I'm going to go around here. Now obviously this edge is is going to be slightly fluffy so I'm going to go like this to make it look more like feathers and same around here. Now I will get out my white pen later as well and do a bit of work so I should have done that on here. So I'm just going to make it look a bit more feathery and the same around the edge of the eye as it looks it's the one in the picture that I'm following he looks like this okay now because there's a little bit around this eye I don't think we can do anything around that one because he's hidden okay and I think I'm going to leave that there with the black and now we're going to go in with the blue now and the top of his head is a beautiful blue colour. I haven't got the exact colour. I think I'm going to use a mix of two colours. This is cobalt green. It, uh, you can't see it on there, but believe me it is. And I'm going to do that first. It's a light layer underneath. And then I'm going to go over with another one. So this one I'm not going to make fluffy because this is my base layer. Now I'm going to do the same on the wings. Now the bird in the picture that I've got here, he's... Um, He's got slightly green in his wings. Now I know, because I know a little bit about birds, that that means he's a baby. The babies have green, but this is an autumnal picture. So the babies might not still have green leaves by autumn, because he'll be a bit grown up by then. So I'm not going to do him green. I'm going to keep it with these, um, do the blues. Now there is a little bit of black in the, in the wing. I'm going to put that on after. I'm just going to do this base of blue and then when I take my darker blue I shall do some shading. So this is the blue that I can't pronounce. Fithalo blue maybe? I don't know. 110 is the number and I'm going to start with the fluffy edge of this. Get right into the middle and then all the way across. You can see how adding a bit of texture. I hope you can see anyway. If you're um, if you're doing it yourself, you'll be able to see anyway. It makes it look a bit more like feathers. And because it's not white underneath, it looks a bit more intentional. Sometimes if you do a texture on something and you're leaving white underneath, it can look a bit like you've made a mistake. So we don't want that. So there's his blue head. And we're going to go over that with a bit of um, white gel pen in a minute anyway. Now he's got a bit of blue on the back of his neck, but we can't really see that in this picture. So we're just going to move on to the wings. Now for these, I want them to look like they're a bit shiny. Not for each feather. So I'm going to do a darker end to each feather. And leave it paler in the middle. And hopefully that will give the impression that it's a little bit shiny along his sort of back now these ones 
his chest is a different colour, so we're leaving that for now. I think this might be a bit black here, but we're just going to do the blue first. I'm going to pop some black in after. I'll just carry on with this. Now I find the good thing about following a picture is you don't have to be creative, you don't have to use your imagination, you can make things look a bit more real. Of course the drawback is you have to stick to certain colours which you may not have, you might not get it as realistic as you were hoping, it can be a bit frustrating, so there's certainly nothing wrong with just doing things from your imagination, in fact it's probably better really. But I just sometimes feel like I want to do a picture that's a bit more real. Now, before I forget, this is quite a different sort of video to normal. Normally I just do the little snapshots, little tiny tutorials that are nice and short of one little thing. Whereas with this one I've done more and I'm not sure which works better for um, you guys. So leave me some feedback in the comments if you could just to say whether you prefer this or whether you prefer the shorter videos. Now I'm going to do the beak now. So I've picked a fairly dark grey. This is called Grey 5 and uh, I'm going to do darker underneath but I'm going to try and make sure that black line stays so we can see which is the top part of the beak and which is the bottom. I'm going to leave a tiny white area and now I'm going to take the black and I'm just going to darken that line across the middle and a bit underneath and hopefully the beak will still be visible but it will look fairly like they should. Now yellow. Yellow I find is always quite a tricky colour to work with. It You can't always get good shading and things like that and now with the bird he's got bits of yellow and bits of almost brownish yellow so I'm going to go in with a green gold but start off with the light yellow glaze and then shade it through. Now these feathers um, I'm going to do the same as I did with those but I'm just going to do a light layer of yellow like I did with the blue to start with and then I'll choose a dark one. I'm not going to go straight in with the green gold and that's going to be my sort of shadow and shading at the end. So here's a light layer of yellow light yellow glaze. Then I'm going to pick a slightly darker one from my tin which is the chrome yellow. This one needs sharpening and I'm going to see if we can get the shiny feather effect first. Now yellow is can be quite hard to work with, quite difficult to show up so I'm actually pressing quite hard and burnishing it quite hard into the ends of the feathers and you can see I'm sort of flicking, so I'm doing a hard texture at the bottom and I'm flicking it down to get a lighter one towards the middle of the feather. So again, hopefully we can get a bit of, it looks a little bit shiny, it's not going to show up as much as the blue. But it's nice to try and get that effect still. And going all the way along. And then we'll think about the body of the bird. Now again we want it sort of looking quite, I can't overlap it over the edge like I did with this because the yellow just doesn't show up. So I've got another little trick for that later. I'm just going to go over a few areas where I think it would be darker, sort of under here. You know the bottom of the bird and maybe along the bottom of the wing there. You can see I'm being quite rough with my colouring on this because it is feathers after all, they're not exactly neat. Right, and now I'm going to get some white. I'm going to use my Jelly Roll, which is a lovely pen, I find, and I'm going to go along the edge of here. I need to, it's the, sorry, the end's a bit clogged up. Across this black line and cut through it with the white to give it a less sort of harsh edge and hopefully that will give the impression of little little feathers. I'm only going to go up to there though. We can go across all of the all of them with it if we want to. I'm not sure he's really going to show up though. Now I'm going to also do a bit across the head. Just through the feathers a little bit just to 
him look a bit more scruffy. <laughs> there he is, and then a little tight, a few flecks down here as well. Not too many, just the all and through here. Now, I want some more shadow. Now, in the face, it's very white, but I think it's going to look more realistic if we put some grey and then go over it with the white pen. So that's what I'm going to choose this grey, the cold grey 3. I'm just going to quite gently colour over this bit. Probably can't really see it. And then I'm going to take the white and I'm going to do the flecked effect again through it, across there, through here, and just lots of little tiny, tiny lines. I'm going to keep that definition line in there. There we go. And then we. I'm going to put a bit more into the body because I think he's a bit pale. We've got our green gold which I'm going to sharpen and I'm going to think about where he's going to be really quite dark, so down here. And I'm really just pressing really really gently because I don't want it to be too harsh. I want it to not look brown or orange, I want it to still look yellow but just shadowy. And also, I don't want him to disappear into this leaf. You know, we want him to stand out. He's our, he's the main part of our uh, picture, after all. A bit under here. And uh, there we go. And I'm also now going to use um, this yellow. This is the Academy in yellow, again these sharpening, and I'm just going to do a few hints of this as well around to darken up some of the areas. And this one isn't so brown, so it's not going to look so dark. And I'm going to do the ends of these with it as well. And hopefully our little bird begins to take shape. Now we've got his legs to do now. It's always tempting to do a bird's legs yellow, but these aren't. They're sort of grey blue. So I'm going to start with the base of the cold grey three again. Just gently do a layer. Now I'm thinking we've got some shadow. We'd like I mean sorry, we might have some reflection on the tops of his legs compared with the bottom. They are very thin, so it's quite hard to get an effect of light and dark. But I'm going to use the cold grey 5 and do where I think might be darker. So at the bottom of the feet. So I'm putting more pressure down at the bottom and less as I go up. The same with this foot. And then under here. So there and this one looks slightly lower down. Now my picture, my bird's got a bit of blue in his legs so I'm going to just take a bit of this fifth aloe blue, <laughs> I can't say it, and uh, just gently stroke it in just here and there just to make it look a bit more like that one in the picture. Now I'm also thinking I'm going back in with the cold grey 5 to get a little bit more shadow under here because his body is going to be shading this bit and this bit and here under where this leaf is as well as underneath where I don't think I pressed hard enough for my liking. There we go. Now last of all I'm going to um, touch up that tail where there's some patches of black and white. So to me, it's actually not the tail, it's the very end of the wing. So I'm thinking it's these bits. So I'm going to put the black here and here and here on these pieces and then a little bit just there. 
So then I still keep this sort of idea of light and shade on there. And he's also got a little bit of white coming across here. So I'm going to pop that in. I don't have to add this bit. But just there we go. And, uh, and there he's done. There we go, and he's all finished. So I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you found it useful, and uh, I hope you learned something. Thank you very much for watching, and uh, please do like my channel, um, like my video if you enjoyed it. I really appreciate it. It's lovely when people like it. It just makes me feel like it's been worthwhile. And also, if you subscribe, then you will get notifications when I post my next one. So if you're interested in having that, then that could be handy to you. Apparently, there's a bell. If you click the bell, it always gives you a notification. So then, if you like them, you can click that and uh, and get told when there's a new one. So thank you so much for watching, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed this series of videos.